Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. And I'm John P. We're in Nashville, Tennessee. We are going to raid the Updesk factory. Let's do this. Welcome to Geeky. This episode of Geeky TV is brought to you by Audible. This is just one of the buildings at the Updesk factory. It's the one where they store all the goodies. Check it out. Look. Here's a whole room. Oh my oh, gosh. Look, look, uh, there's, there's legs, there's desks, there's every side, four foot it, maple, five foot maple, not, six foot maple. Look, the, the five upright, foot upright with black, black trim. Yeah, so they have the upright with white trim and the upright with black trim. They have Here's maple, every size of black. They have black, four, they five, have six. mahogany. They have everything. Look, the the uprights. These are the ones that you can actually write. On. There's a whiteboard surface. Now you know what's most interesting about this is, you see stacks and stacks of them. This is why you can get them quickly. Yes. Because they are they're they're warehousing them here. Now they're making them in the other building, and we're going to see that in a minute. Indeed. But there's a lot. That's it. This there's isn't all of them. More. Okay. There's more. Look, there's there's the boxes they ship them in. Uh huh. Lots of boxes. Can you oh, believe? Look. Here's a, I don't These know what color gigantic. this is. These They're are gigantic. They're ginormous. Uh, more mahogany and upright ones. White ones. Oh, look, orange. Look orange. You know Bright what? Bright orange. I have never seen this one in person. I've been wondering. Yeah, I saw it online. I was like, wow, that pops. You know, if you're this like. This looks really nice. If your team colors were orange, like UT or, your or company colors. Or your company. This would be awesome. This is, uh, this is good stuff. Let's see what else. We have more in here. I can't believe they let us roam the factory with Alone, no supervision. Too. And another room? This is crazy. This is That's a lot of desks. There's a lot of desks. There's oh, a lot of boxes. I have something else really cool to what, show what you. What do you got? Come this way. What do you got? Come over here. Back to where we came from. I want to play with all of I got to find it in all these rooms. This? Oh, what is this, a whole stack of sample colors? No, this is the scratch and dent section. W what do you mean? Uh, so they don't even ship these because it has a chip on the edge. You see that? Where, where, I don't see a chip on the edge. Uh, you, you see that tiny little, yeah. That's there. not a chip. Yeah, that's a chip. No, that's um, not a chip. And, and that one has a scratch on it. Where's the scratch? You see it? No, there's not, there's a mark. <laughs> So here's the deal. They have such great quality control that they won't even ship these. These are rejects? These are rejects. And even wow. better, if you're okay with this reject that I, I had That is not a chip. I literally, literally could not even see it. That is literally not a chip. <laughs> well, they call it a chip. You can buy these at a discount. Uh, you have to just keep an eye on the social media account, twitter.com slash updesk. Oh. And every once in a while, they'll put a sale They'll treat a like a special out. deal? Yeah, you wow. can get these uh, cheap. That is insane. I know. Uh, but oh. I guess that's the benefit of made in the U.S., right? Because they exactly. are, th these desks are entirely manufactured right here in the U.S. There's like one part that comes from Europe. Right. Other than that, everything is made here in the U.S. And these guys take serious pride in their work. They take special care of it, and it's a faster turnaround. Speaking of taking care and uh, taking pride Let's in their work. Let's actually see it being made. Let's go. Okay, this is actually, the, this is how a one of the feet starts out. It's just a piece of flat metal. It doesn't look like metal. a foot. I know, not yet. Okay, it's just a big piece. Now, this is heavy duty steel, okay? That's like at least an eighth of an inch. It's, Can you break it with your it's head? It's good stuff. I don't want. Okay, what happens is we take this particular piece. It's already got some holes drilled in it. You'll see why later, but the point is, it goes into this press, and you see what happens. It's going to go from being flat. And he's check this bending out. it with a big machine. It's a 60-ton press. Nice. You, you probably don't want to stick your fingers in it. Probably won't work it out will bend so well. Them. But huh? you see what happens? It takes that heavy piece of steel and just like butter bends these two piece, uh, these two little edges. And guess what? Now guess what it looks like when we turn it over? Looks like that a looks foot. like a foot. Yeah. It needs a leg, but right. it's, it's getting there. So uh, on to the next piece. Yeah, let's go see what happens next. Okay, so we've got our feet that are bent. Well, yeah. we're not really complete feet yet. But we've oh. got part of a foot, and but what we, we need to do is I reinforce see the it. Finished product here. That's right. So, so this, this is a reinforced part. Yeah, this is a welding table. And look, this is like quarter-inch steel plate. This is heavy-duty stuff. 
So what they do is, these are the pieces that the feet screw into. So they put little bolts in them so that during the welding and painting processes, the threads remain protected. And as you can see, these are gonna slot in, they're gonna get welded in place, and this piece is gonna get right put right in there. Inside. And bingo, bango, weld that sucker up, and that's what the now finished product looks this? like. This is actually a welding fume extractor. So that helps keep the person who's welding safe from all those harmful uh, toxins that come off nice. when the metal and oil and stuff are burning. So we have the legs. They've been bent. They've been welded. They've now been strengthened. What? Well, so you remember at the very beginning of the process, there were these four holes. Yeah. Those are for the leg to attach. Right. But once you weld a giant piece of thick steel underneath those holes, it's guess what? It's a little what? hard to put a They're not leg holes anymore. On there. They're not holes anymore. Right. So you gotta drill the holes back in. Drill them. So he's over here drilling the holes in. And once he's done, then they make their way over here to this stack. And you know what? Now they're about ready for assembly. Paint. Oh. Yeah. Paint. They're gonna you get gotta it painted. get it painted Let's first. Let's do it. Wow, the guys in that factory work so hard. It is impressive. But it's so loud in there. They have to wear earplugs. You know what they should make? Earbuds that help protect your ears and double as earbuds so you can listen to audible books while working. How awesome would that be? Regardless of where you are, you can listen to a book while getting other stuff done too. I love it. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash geekbeat. What you got there, John? Okay, we got a batch of feet coming through. We, these things need to be painted, they need to be prepped, and they need to be painted. So in order to prep them, first they gotta go into this washer. Now this washer, the water actually gets about to 200 degrees. Wow. So they're gonna get washed. It's steamy all in there. Up, and then they're gonna go, <laughs> there's a fan over here. <laughs> yeah, my hair is really having a problem right now. <laughs> they're gonna go into the dryer, which is back here. Take a look. And this dryer is actually, it gets up to about 425 degrees. So after- Oh, I've gone as far back as I want. That's hot. That is it's hot. hot back there. 425 degrees. Yeah, I don't want to go back there anymore. So the footers, you can see behind me, are on the assembly line. They are, they have already been washed, they have been dried, and they are ready. Sean P, what are you doing? Get back over here. Don't you remember Tommy Boy? No, I've never seen it. Oh my <laughs> God, you've never seen Tommy Boy. Whoa. Hey, you're coming off fast. How you doing? Look out. I've got cat-like speed and reflex. <laughs> I was checking the uh, specs on the end line for the rotary girder. I'm retarded. Can right, you so believe she's never seen Tommy Boy? <laughs> so they have been washed, dried. I'm about to stick them in the washer myself. And now it is time for them to get painted. Yeah. I'm excited. Let's go see it. Okay, let's do it. They've been cleaned, washed, prepped, all of it. Now we're going in. Going through the paint booth. Let's check it out. It's loud in here. It is very loud. Can you even hear us, Pablo? I don't know if you can wow. hear us. It's right. really loud because there's all kinds of fans to, to uh, filter all of the paint and stuff. Over here, you can see they've gone through this machine. This machine is actually for almond color only. They only use this for the majority of what they paint, which is almond. Now this, these are actually going to get uh, painted black, so they have to go into this machine. So that's a two-man job, one for the front, one for the back, and then as soon as they're painted, what happens next? I'm guessing the heater because it's hot. Why do you stick me on this side by the heater? Because you're closer to it. Again, this thing gets up to about 425 degrees. You know what it feels like? We call it is the back end of the oven. It feels like an oven. It, it, it basically it, it's almost the like oven. an oven in there. Well, that's pretty much what they're doing. So if these things will stay in here for 35 minutes or so. Which is, a, you know, the next batch that goes through are cupcakes. Right. 
So, yeah, I'm going to go get some. So as soon as these are done with the 35-minute the 35 minute process, they will be hardened and then ready to ship. There's no cupcakes. All right, we have a six-foot mahogany desk that is ready to be packaged up and shipped. This is the final step. Wow. Yeah, but now, just all that other work was done. You think, oh, just throw it in a box. No, you can't he's, just throw it in a box. You gotta take care. He's gotta That's clean a beautiful it. Look yeah, at we that. Gotta, you gotta Make sure it looks get beautiful. Get those fingerprints off of it. Get all that Saw weld dust. dust off of it. Whatever. <laughs> so this oh, process. Oh, wait a minute. Alcohol. Oh, oh I mean, they're wow. really gonna clean it. I didn't realize they took this much care with it. That is awesome. So this whole process takes about 20 minutes to package it up and prepare it and get it boxed up. a little harder to stick in the box with the legs already on it? Ah, oh, but John, again with the customer care. They are assembling the legs and then taking it off just to ensure that when you get yours in, it all fits together nicely. And it's and there, really quick no and easy to put, it, exactly. to, to put it together. And look. Yeah, they've, they've already drilled the hole. So like where holes. the motors go and stuff, you know exactly where it goes. You just bingo, bango. Look, here's, here's the holes for the... They put holes on both the left and the right side for a little controller, because yep. maybe you're a lefty. Maybe you, know you what? are a lefty. Up desk loves the lefties too. <laughs> Nope. I'm done. He's getting boxed up. I have the keys to the truck. <laughs> <laughs>